Netflix's One Piece trailer offers the first look at the upcoming live-action One Piece adaptation and proves some fears about the show wrong. Here's everything from the trailer that you need to know. But first, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more similar content. Let's dive in. Season 1 of One Piece's live-action adaptation will cover the East Blue arc from the manga. East Blue is the part of the ocean in the One Piece's manga map where the protagonist, Monkey D. Luffy, begins his journey as a pirate. As a kid, he ate a devil fruit called the Gum Gum Fruit, which gave him a rubber-like body that bends, stretches, and inflates at will. Inspired by his childhood hero Shanks, with his head held high and eyes filled with dreams, Luffy sets out to become the King of the Pirates by discovering the legendary pirate Goldie Rogers' secret treasure, the One Piece. However, the One Piece is said to be hidden somewhere across the Grand Line, and the journey to the stretch of the ocean is a perilous one. Young Luffy starts out alone, but in time gathers crewmates with their own dreams, who become his lifelong friends as he helps them in their adventures. We will get to meet several fan favorites in Season 1, which include Rover Noah Zoro, Master of the Three Sword Style, Nami, the crew's future navigator who was once a thief, Usopp, a sharpshooter who was learning to be brave, and Sanji, the crew's future chef who falls for every woman he sees. The sneak peek provided in the Netflix Geeked Week video mentioned earlier also name-dropping Arlong, which means we will get to see a lot of Nami's backstory and one of the earliest big fights Luffy gets himself into that solidifies his character while also adding Nami to his list of crewmates. The first One Piece trailer shows that Netflix's live-action adaptation of the record-breaking manga-slash-anime One Piece series could be off to a great start. A live-action One Piece show has been in the works at Netflix since 2020, and a first look at the adaptation of Ichiro Oda's world has finally been revealed. One Piece has been around for more than 25 years, meaning that the live-action adaptation has the difficult mission of working both for longtime fans and new audiences. Netflix's One Piece premieres on August 31, 2023. One Piece's popularity means that the bar is high for the upcoming Netflix adaptation, at least compared to the original manga as well as the One Piece anime. Of course, Hollywood's track of live-action anime adaptation is not very good, which is why there was a level of concern regarding the live-action One Piece show. More recently, Netflix canceled the live-action Cowboy Bebop series after mixed reviews, adding another entry to the list of failed live-action anime adaptations. That said, the first One Piece trailer is promising and it proves some early concerns wrong. Luffy's power in live-action One Piece actually looks good. One of the biggest concerns regarding Netflix's live-action One Piece was how to portray Luffy's powers. Luffy's rubber body works perfectly fine for the manga and the anime, and it is one of the reasons why One Piece's fighting scenes are so unique. However, stretching powers usually do not look too good in live action. Not even the big-budget Fantastic Four movies could quite nail Mr. Fantastic's stretching powers, for example. How Luffy's powers work in live action would make or break the live action One Piece show. Fortunately, Luffy's signature punch looks very good in Netflix's One Piece trailer. If Netflix's live-action One Piece show maintains the very same VFX quality from the trailer and the entirety of the show, the series will have solved a tricky issue when it comes to adapting anime. Both manga and anime series are visual media that often create fantastical worlds and moments. Properly translating those fantastical elements into live-action is a huge challenge, and most live-action anime adaptations have failed at it. A live-action One Piece show is set to involve lots of visual effects, so Luffy's powers looking good in the One Piece trailer is promising news for the rest of the series. Netflix's One Piece is faithful to the original manga. In terms of characters, costumes, and settings, Netflix's One Piece adaptation is so faithful to the original One Piece manga, even though it can be strange at first to see One Piece's world in a live-action production, the One Piece trailer suggests that the show will avoid some capital anime adaptation mistakes. Netflix's One Piece Season 1 is expected to adapt the East Blue Saga, although the pacing and the chronological order in which One Piece's first six arcs play will probably change. Still, there does not seem to be any major additions or removals in Netflix's One Piece, which is a good first step. It is difficult to judge how One Piece's tone, humor, and fighting scenes will work in the live-action show using just the first trailer. 
Still, the live-action One Piece cast all look great in their roles, and the show's aesthetic somewhat matches that of the anime. The character moments, as well as the direction One Piece's story seems to be going, also match how it played out in the One Piece anime, even though there will be differences in terms of the chronology. The teaser trailer for the One Piece live-action adaptation is packed with Easter eggs and delightful details that showcase the cast's love for the series and cater to diehard manga fans. These hidden references make the teaser even more engaging and exciting for enthusiasts. Here are some notable Easter eggs. 1. Red Force In the very first shot of the teaser, the iconic Red Force, the ship belonging to Shanks, can be seen stationed in Fusha Village. This nods to Shanks' vessel in a delightful treat for observant fans. 2. Costume Design Throughout the teaser, Luffy and the crew are seen wearing various costumes. These outfits are inspired by the cover stories from the manga. It's a fantastic detail that demonstrates the attention to detail and dedication of the production team to capture the essence of the original story. 3. Axe Hand Morgan's Photo In the background behind Zoro during the Shell's town scene, there is a prominent photo of Axe Hand Morgan. This inclusion references a significant character from the early arcs of the manga and adds a nostalgic touch for fans who have followed the series closely. These Easter eggs serve as a delightful surprise for fans, demonstrating the production team's commitment to staying true to the source material and their effort to immerse viewers in the rich world of One Piece. With these hidden gems scattered throughout the teaser, fans can look forward to discovering more references and nods to the beloved manga as the series unfolds. Netflix's One Piece still has one big problem to overcome. The biggest problem Netflix's One Piece has to overcome is the pacing. No matter how good the writing, the performances, and the visual effects are, fitting so many One Piece arcs in just 8-hour-long episodes can play against the live-action One Piece series. To put things in perspective, it took 61 episodes for the One Piece anime to cover the East Blue Saga, which goes from the Romance Dawn arc to the Logue Town arc. Netflix's One Piece will only have less than 8 hours to cover these same stories, far less than what the One Piece anime dedicated to the East Blue Saga. Key One Piece events will have to be cut or rushed, which is a big problem. The heart of the story can be kept even if One Piece's timeline is changed, or the pacing becomes faster, yet this creates an enormous risk for the series. Netflix's One Piece could settle whether live-action adaptations can work as major Hollywood IPs, mainly because there are not many manga properties whose popularity can be compared to One Piece's. That was all from us today for this video. For more similar content, see you in the next one.